Welcome back. You're with us here on Opening Moves this morning. Tata Consultancy Services came out with numbers after market hours yesterday, as always. So we are coming to you live from the TCS headquarters here in Mumbai to get you commentary on the numbers. Uh, TCS doesn't put out a guidance, but you've got the management talking about those results uh, and what they feel about uh, the, uh, the next couple of quarters. Uh, as always, S. Mahalingam, Chief Financial Officer, is uh, with me here. Uh, thanks, Ma, as always. Ajay Mukherjee, Global Head of HR, is with us. Ajay, thanks very much. Firoz Vandriwala, Executive Director at TCS. Uh, Firoz, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Thanks, all of you. Uh, Ma, for the first time in about six or seven quarters, uh, we are using the word TCS has missed the street expectations. I mean, what do you attribute that to? You know, I think it is very difficult to talk about the expectations of the street. I mean, that is something that gets formed. But if I were to look at it from the performance on a continuous growth basis, you know, over uh, so many quarters that we have done, and um, delivering in almost all the industry verticals, and uh, delivering in almost all the uh, geographies, I think this has been a, a very good performance. Under 5% revenue growth, dollar revenue growth, about 4.6. You know, dollar uh, revenue growth, dollar was impacted by the cross-currency right. movements and so right. on. But if you uh, strip that cross-currency movement. Constant currency also has been about 5%, right? Yeah, a little over 5%. Right. And 5%, I think, uh, on this base, you know, we crossed $2.5 billion this quarter. If, right. You know, we did the 2.515. Mm. If we strip the... Uh, cross currency movement was 2.539 right and uh, and therefore i think uh, overall you know it's uh, it's a question of a continuous momentum in mm. the business mm. and uh, as far as that is concerned uh, you know have we grown in each of the customers if you take the top 10 customers um, while the percentages might have differed and so on we have continued to do well in terms of absolute numbers in those top 10 customers mm. we have added 35 new customers we have increased the number of $100 million customers from mm. 10 to 12. And in each point, whether it is 50 million or 20 million and so on, I think there is some momentum that we are continuing to grab in mm. our marketplace. So you're saying the momentum continues at the same pace See, that it was, momentum, or has they been a, yeah. The momentum continues. You know, the, um, you know, the, the, the issue is really, uh, you know, when you, when you've had a growth rate of 11% or 13% for the same quarter last year, mm. and, um, then obviously you see that there is a slow uh, slowdown from that perspective. But, you know, if you look at the opportunities out in the marketplace, mm. when you judge it in terms of the total by pipeline mm. that we are dealing with, when you uh, uh, look at whether the customers are continuing to invest in new projects, whether it is a digital consumer, whether it is uh, social networking, mm. um, mobility as a solution and so on, you find that that kind of trend is continuing at this moment in time and we have got the whole um, uh, got that so i i you know the the <coughs> question is really in terms of percentages and not in terms of the growth per se right no so uh, if, if is the read through essentially that this is more of a quarter specific issue or a company specific issue the the overall demand environment in which you're operating remains strong that is for right. you for yeah. for a, for, a, for a it company your size and yeah we run it for a uh, for the uh, year, we run it for the long term, not for a quarter alone. Right. So, uh, you know, so some are saying that uh, the India business uh, and the dip there contributed to yeah. uh, the overall rev the overall picture looking a little so subdued. The Indian business turns out to be still volatile. Mm. You know, India is where we generate a lot of capabilities into the company. Mm. You know, you do large systems integration projects, mm. you deliver service directly to the customer and mm. so on, unlike what we do. Uh, elsewhere on the same scale mm. and therefore when you are looking at these mission critical projects and uh, when you keep wanting to grow in that mm. there is a vol volatility that comes along with that that's a function of the type of businesses that we do we don't take simple projects in India most of the projects are ca uh, complex because that uh, take gets into the capability mm. upgrading the capability of the organization certainly India has been a, um, uh, has has declined as far as this quarter is concerned uh, but India makes up only nine percent of the overall, yeah. uh, you know, revenue of TCS. And I mean, uh, going forward, would it? Uh, you know, we have big plans for India. We believe there are lots of spends that are happening, not only in the government space but also in the uh, business space and so on. There are very interesting and complex projects that we will continue to, uh, you know, bid on and so on. Mm. And uh, and therefore, and we also want to remove this volatility. You know, once you reach a size 
of uh, over a billion that? dollars and how so on. How do you do that? That is the size, the factor right. of size, and right. uh, just that nothing more than that. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.